fight. I'm the secret love child of Alan and Jimmy. <laughs> and I do pay my taxes. <laughs> so you know, in America, they're developing sex robots that can actually talk. See, I would have thought one of the advantages of using the sex robot is that they don't talk. <laughs> but he would want them to say, oh, you're so handsome. Have you been working out? <laughs> she would want them to say, have you lost weight? I'll do the dishes. <laughs> um, of course, if they're realistic, they would just say, not tonight, I have a headache. <laughs> now, now, Britain has the highest rate of teenage pregnancies in Europe. See, we can win at something. <laughs> See, we could reduce that if we just gave every schoolgirl a boy sex robot. <laughs> But then on balance, you probably have to give every schoolboy a girl sex robot. And that might mean the end of Tinder. <laughs> or a choice of robots, and that could mean the end of Grindr. <laughs> and in this non-binary world, when the school's giving out these robots, they can't ask if you're a girl or a boy. All they can say is, do you want an any or an outie? <laughs> so, if you imagine, on that day, this one. <laughs> So on that day, the school bus home is going to be very noisy because, you know, a bus full of school children is always loud, but if the robots are talking as well, it's going to be pandemonium. Yeah. And of course, they're all keen to get home to play with their new toy. I mean, you know, there's not going to be much homework done that night. <laughs> so you see, a boy sex robot can double as an ice cream dispenser. <laughs> so, you, can, you can have any flavour you want, and robots don't care how fat you get. <laughs> so, well, now, if you think that's a bit much, you better brace yourself for the next bit. <laughs> for those that like that sticky time of the month, a girl sex robot can double as a ketchup dispenser. <laughs> what? Too much? Uh, what's the line? Keep going, keep going. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> See, we could have child robots for paedophiles. Any, any paedophiles in? <laughs> I mean, could have saved a whole lot of hassle for Prince Andrew. No sweat. <laughs> See, and then, for bisexuals, you can have robots with detachable parts. You know, transformers. <laughs> okay, so, Dragon's Den, here I come. <laughs> so, I had to go for a colonoscopy. You know, camera off the bum. They said, take everything off and put this gown on. You can keep your socks on. Is apparently, if you're wearing nothing but a hospital gown, it's more dignified if you've got your socks on. <laughs> you, know. you know, and while I'm waiting for my turn, I'm looking at all the people ahead of me because, you know, before they stick that camera up your ass, it's going to have already be up the jacksy of all these other people. <laughs> it's not like you'd ask for a major camera. I mean, you're going to get the sooty one. Now, I expect some of you probably familiar with the difficulties in inserting something into the anal cavity. <laughs> <laughs> you see, their camera is actually fitted with a pump and they actually pump air inside to increase the space. I mean, why don't other things do that? You see, okay, maybe that's one for the uh, sex robots. <laughs> so, so then I had to go for an operation. So cute nurse comes over and I think, oh, am I gonna get a bed bath? She says, it's time for your enema, Mr. Carr. I think, oh, they always want to stick something up my bum. I mean, it's just like boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> but I gather there's some dodgy place at Soho where you can get something similar for 50 pound. But I say, I'm getting it for free on this wonderful NHS. <laughs> So when I wake up after the operation, I look down and there's a tube coming out my willy. I mean, that's really taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Okay, so what is the thing with dick pics these days? <laughs> is, that, is that how young people find love? I mean, I never noticed Jeffrey until he showed me a picture of his willy, and then I knew he was the one. <laughs> I mean, in my day, if you wanted a girl to see a cock, you had to go to the park and jump out of the bushes. <laughs> okay, I think that's my turn. Thank you.